at Salakia about that. You know, it's always when you're doing a video, you get interrupted. But, you know, like I was saying, you know, sometimes you get dreams and stuff bad happening to you. You know, it could be a, uh, a warning from the Most High and et cetera. You know, but that, you know, was a warning from the Most High. All right. You know, because she said when she uh, became, when she lost her humility, you know, uh, the angel told her, you are not, you're no longer a part of salvation. Now, of course, if you, if you have the elect, you can't become uh, uh, someone that's not of the elect, you know, so that was the message of the dream, you know, it's pretty obvious, the message of the dream, you know, is that you got to stay humble, you know, humble brothers and sisters, all right, but um, this is Matthew 3 and 9, and think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that the most high, most high power is able to of these stones to raise up children to Abraham, you know, so the Most High can raise up Israelites out of stone who will do His will perfectly, you know. But He chose mercy to have mercy on us when we don't even deserve it, you know. He chose to have mercy on us, okay. So we can't take stuff like that for granted, man. You know, knowing that the Most High can dispose of you at any time, you know. Can that's why you got the Psalms 51 prayer, you know. Take not the Holy Spirit away from me and cast me not away from Thy presence. All right. It's important that. You, you beg the Lord to not take that spirit off you, man. He don't need none of us, you know. But it's of his mercies that we're in this thing, you know. Uh, sorry, let me get to this red light. In Sirach 10 and 9, why is earth and ashes proud? There is not... So I'll give you a second. I'm trying to add something. Okay, kind of we good. Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as one set of his set of his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. All right. So it says the point I'm trying to bring out is, is why is earth and ashes proud? All right. Because you ain't hey you ain't shit. Why the hell are you proud, man? You know, you don't deserve to have salvation. So that that, that one right there, you, you don't deserve to be uh, uh, prideful, man. So why the hell are you are you prideful? You know what have we done to? to be prideful about shit we should be uh having our head down 24 7 man but you know the scriptures say um damn damn uh don't let your conscience condemn you of course but we you know we in shame of the shit that we did all right but through the lord you know we relieve you know because he he chose to forgive us man you know a lord willing we be worthy to be saved all right this is uh proverbs I thought that was 144 on another license plate. But it's Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go up before destruction and a hearty spirit before a fall. Look at this nigga Esau, man. Hey, he getting ready to fall. And he, he don't even know it. All right? These devils think they going another 50 years. They think they kingdom going to last forever. You know? But the most high got him in a trick bag. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly. Okay? Oh, damn, this nigga trying to turn. Demons, man. So I'm reading it over. Bet it, bet it. Is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud, man? All right. The Lord is only dealing with that meek spirit, you know? The Lord is only dealing with, with humble people, man. All right. He's not dealing with no uh, fucking prideful ass person, man. You know, because they can't be taught nothing. They can't be corrected. They think they got it all, man. You know, the Lord ain't dealing with people like that. All right, that's why he chooses the, the, the quote unquote underdogs, man. You know? But um, nevertheless, I'm gonna continue to read. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach 3 and 18. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. You know? So you're supposed to be humble, period. Especially if you're in a lowly position. But the scripture also, the, the Lord also said if you're in a high position, if the Lord put you in a high position, you know, you, you're supposed to be even more humble. So the Lord has a way of keeping us all humble, you know? Shit, Yahweh Shah was even humble, you know? Many are in high places and of renown, all right? You know, so you got these people in high positions in this society, man, you know? But mysteries are revealed unto the meek, all right? That's why the uh, the, the scribes and Pharisees, man, they, they was envious of Yahweh Shah, all right? It says the, the mysteries are revealed to the meek, man. All right, hey, look at all these brothers. We came from different backgrounds and shit. You know, hey, we was at the bottom of the bottom, and we still at the bottom, you know? Everybody looks at us and, and mocks us. 
But the, that's who the Lord is dealing with. All right, because the Lord said He chose the uh, the foolish things to confound the wise. These people won't even understand how we got this, how we attain this knowledge. You know. And the Lord ain't dealing with these uh, people of high positions, man. Hey, Lord not dealing with these celebrities, man. They not your leaders. All right, them niggas sold out. This is Luke 18 and 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So he was talking to Yahweh Shai. All right. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why calls me good? None is good save one that is the most high. He So he said, Nobody is good except my father Yahweh. All right. So even Yahweh Shai is humble. All right. And of course, he, he lived the perfect life. He didn't go off as Yahweh Shai, but he went off as Adam. All right. He went off as King Solomon. All right. So he understood, hey, I'm not perfect. All right. Um, yeah, I'm reading it. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good save one that is the most high. So only Yahweh Shai is worthy of be calling good. You know? He the only one that can be cocky, man. You know? The hell we being cocky for? Matthew 23 and 12. You know, it's like, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with being confident, of course. Just don't be prideful. All right, it's a balance in everything. Just don't, don't be don't be too humble because it's a balance in that. All right? And whosoever shall exalt, exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, man. You know, so if you're prideful, you're going to be humble. All right? If you're humble, hey, the Lord is going to uh, uh, exalt you, man. All right? And moving on to my final precept. This is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 13, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Hamashiach's suffering. So we partakers of the Lord's suffering, man. All right? That when his glory shall be revealed, all right, Yahweh Shai is sitting on the right hand uh, of the Most High, second, second in command over everything. Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. So that's when we're going to be exalted. That's when we're going to be uh, honored, man. That's when we can be uh, uh, proud of what we've done because the mission was accomplished. Yahweh Shai accomplished the mission. He conquered death. All right, he uh, died for all of Israel's sins, you know, mainly the elect, and died for his own sins too, you know, Adam, Yahweh Shai, I mean, Adam, uh, Solomon. All right, so when we complete the task, when we complete the mission, you know, when we get beamed up, you know, crowned by Yahweh Shai, hey, that's when we could, that, that's when we could be proud of what we've done, you know. But the scriptures say our righteousness is as a dirty rag, man, ain't, ain't nothing to be proud about on this side, man, you know. Uh, the, you know, the elders, the elders are, and apostles always say you could do a uh, hundred videos. You know, you just as good as your last video. You know, none, nothing we do can uh, give us an automatic, automatic guarantee that hey, the most I was gonna look at you. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna save him. You know, because we ain't shit. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know. Of course, you, you got to keep it balanced, man. All right, but um. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. I hope Gosh, I really hope you brothers heard the audio. You know, um, Yahweh Ratzah. But with that, Shalom and the Bible Ball.